What is up everyone? Lauren signing in again for the first ever awesome dining experience. And when I say awesome dining experience, I just want to try something new because aside from gaming, another passion that I have is cooking and food. Okay? And I've tried dabbling in cooking, uh, doing cooking videos. Uh, there will be a story for another day. And it wasn't really that good. It was very hard to prepare. So until I get that settled, I will just stay with dining experience for the time being. And today we're going to do a takeaway session, which is I took away a pizza from a place called the Old Lantern here in uh, Kuching, Sarawak. So Old Lantern is um, part of a pizza group, I think, I don't know, pizza shop that uh, that's actually known by Tom's Pizza. I will put the link to their Facebook page on the description below. So if you're ever in Kuching, please do try their pizza because they're one of the best stone-baked pizza in Kuching. Okay, so let me just show you. When I went there just now, the first thing that I decided to buy is the most ridiculous and insane pizza. Actually, I bought this one before, so it would be a lie if I said this is the first time. And this pizza is... Ta-da! Can you guys guess what this is? Can you guess? Can you guess? No, it is not pork. It is actually smoked duck pizza. Exactly, smoked duck pizza. So, when I saw it for the first time, I knew I had to try it. This was actually last week. And then when I tried it, it was the best. Okay? Why? Because this pizza has smoked duck on it. As you can see, these are huge, large. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. These are large ducks. This is like, I don't know, size of like two fingers and it's like that thick. It's really thick. Um, I can actually smell. They, they, they put a lot of uh, black sesame. They put some kind of like sweet sauce on top and with a lot of cheese and a very medium amount of uh, tomato sauce. Alright? And it's very, very nice. Okay? So... Yeah, basically the idea of it was just so ridiculous, that's why I bought it. Okay, so we're going to try it and I'm going to rate it based on flavor, based on whether it is something that you eat, uh, that you're supposed to eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner, and just general goodness and whether I would recommend you guys. Okay, so this is actually very awkward. That's why, the, the real reason why I took away this thing is because it was awkward recording at the shop. There was just way too many people. Okay, I'm just going to give it a first try. Mmm. Mm. It would have been better if, if I just ate this when it just came out of the oven, sorry. Because when it's cold, you know, the cheese kind of, it's not, it's not really those, um, what do you call those, chewy, chewy cheese, the cheese that, you know, you see in the advert that goes like yay long. It's, it's more of those um, hard cheeses that has a flavor, there's no, no stringiness. Okay, it's very nice. Um, I would say that this is more of a dinner kind of a pizza. You, you wouldn't want to get this for lunch because it's really heavy. But the smoked duck, my goodness, it really comes out through the, the pizza. You would think that it doesn't fit, but surprisingly it does. It's like another substitute for salami or what people like to call pepperoni on pizza. Alright, for rating, I would say this pizza has a very solid 4.5. Seven stars, 4.7 stars. I wouldn't give it a 5 out of 5. Now, the reason I wouldn't give it 5 out of 5 is... Oh, God. You know what grinds my gear? I'm being Peter Griffin for a short while. Do you know what grinds my gear? People who modify... Uh, who, Yeah, I think for lack of word, people who modify their car, ex uh, the motorcycle exhaust until it's bigger than their butthole. I mean, like, for real. Okay, back to the review. Sorry for that noise. What I would, uh, why I don't give it a full mark is simply because for some reason the smoked duck, the flavor just doesn't come out. As uh, I mean, it's it's flavorful. Don't get me wrong. You get the smoked duck, you get the the smokiness, but for some reason, it's it's overpowered by something. I I'm not too sure. Is it the herb? Is it the herb? Is it the sweet sauce? But it's overpowered, or maybe just because the pizza is cold. I'll probably try it when it's warm. If, if I dare, so please give me lots of likes so I dare to do this kind of videos in public uh, and give you guys a better review on that. But but for now, I'll give it a solid 4.7. Definitely a must-try pizza. It's a pizza meant for dinner. 
and I would recommend you getting at least two of it for a per single person. Yes, I am just that big of an eater. All right, that's a good try. So if you guys ever want to try the a very crazy pizza, um, for me it's crazy because it's something that you don't usually put as a topping of a pizza. So please do try out the Old Lantern here in Kuching. You can find them. I will put the link in the description. All right. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys like this new um, series, please do leave a like. If you guys want to see me try different kind of foods in coaching, if you know any crazy kind of food, I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm not one to shy away from food, except for maybe crocodile meat, but that's for personal reasons. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. So there you have it. Until the next video, this is Norin signing out. Thank you.